Hi, I'm Tony Clark, Technical Program Manager at Unify Cloud. This video series will introduce you to Cloud Pilot, which is part of the Cloud Atlas integrated tool set. The Cloud Atlas suite of tools support the entire cloud migration lifecycle from discover and assess, target and migrate, to monitor and report. In our last video, I showed you how to complete the application and database assessments using the Cloud Pilot online portal. When the assessment was completed, a report was generated that included Azure service recommendations along with the areas of code that require some attention in order to migrate to Azure. Let's examine those reports in a little more detail. First, open your browser and point it to the Cloud Pilot portal by typing in this URL, cloudpilot.cloudatlasinc.com. Use your Microsoft credentials to log in. From the dashboard, select Project List from the menu to the left. From the Project List, click on the name of the project you wish to review. In the expanded window, click View from the View column in the Application Migration Assessment to open up the assessment report. You will be directed to the overview page of the assessment report. From this page, there are several items to consider. First, at the top of the page is the application recommendation. For the app you have scanned, Cloud Pilot will recommend one of three Azure services, virtual machines, Azure App Service, or containers. Below that, you will see a recommendation for one of three Azure database services virtual machine running SQL, Azure SQL, or SQL Managed Instance. To the right of the application and database recommendations, you will see a high-level cost breakdown for each service type. The recommended service type will be highlighted in blue. In the menu on the left side of the report, there are links to the individual detailed application service assessments. The detailed database assessment report project dependencies, security recommendations, and the Azure Compliance Report. To get the detailed report, click on the link in the menu. Let's take a look at the App Service Assessment. Below the Recommendation window, you will see information such as the scan results, total estimated effort, and App Service Readiness. In the Total Estimated Effort section, you will see a table divided into small, medium, and large. The numbers in each column represent the number of changes that need to be made to the app. Small changes usually take a day or less, medium takes a few days, and large can take upward of a week or more. Scroll down to see the detail on the recommended changes. First, you will see the changes grouped by category. In this example, the categories are Application and Platform Design and Security. To see the details of each recommended change, scroll down. For each recommended change, you will see the reason for the change, the actual line of code to be changed, the file in which the change needs to be made, along with sample code that can be used in your app. Next, we will examine the database assessment in more detail. Go back to the dashboard by clicking the green Back to Dashboard button at the top right of your browser window. From the dashboard, select the project list from the menu to the left. From the project list, select the name of the project you wish to review. In the expanded window, Click View from the View column in the Database Migration Assessment to open up the Assessment Report. You will be directed to the Database Assessment Overview. 
In the box at the top will be the recommendation for one of the three Azure database services for your database deployment in Azure. Below that are charts that depict the number of changes needed for each service type and the estimated effort for each service type. Let's take a closer look at the service recommendation. Click on View in the Azure SQL column. At the top of the page, you will see information regarding changes that are needed to be made to your database before it can be migrated to Azure. In the top right of the page, you will see the total estimated effort box, which highlights the number of changes needed and the amount of time estimated to complete the changes. If you scroll down, you will see a feature parity table, which lists features being used in your current on-premise database server and the changes that are needed to be made to be compatible with Azure SQL. Click on the feature on the left side of the table to get more details on recommended changes. From here, you can click the green Back to Dashboard button or pick a different assessment report to review from the menu on the left. In our next video, we will complete the review of the assessment reports by looking at the Container and Virtual Machine Assessment Reports, Security Recommendations, and Azure Compliance Report. Please join me in the next video when you have the time. Thank you.